Rizzah and respect to whomever he wills. And he gives whoever he wants to and he takes away from whoever he wants to. وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَعْفِ he is the one who created everything and there is nobody who can Nobody can ask him why he did something. <coughs> what we learn from this is, my dear brothers and sisters, itself, you know, changing year and time and day, it has a sign of uluhiyya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kullu man alayha fan. Things are changing every day. Kullu man alayha fan. Wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram. Kullu yawmin huwa fi sha'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes every day with something. You cannot understand. You cannot even imagine. You cannot even go closer to it. يوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير محضرة وما عملت من سوء تود لو أن بينها وبينه غمدا بعيدا there will be a day when people will regret their previous life that they did not pay any attention to the warnings to the ayat to inza to tabdeer they did not pay any attention to these things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says very beautifully in the Signs for who? For those who think people of understanding. He also has said, in Ja'ala من إله غير الله يأتيكم بضياء. إيه الله سبحانه وتعالى made this day in which you see dark as night. Is there any God who can bring that light back to you? قل أرأيتم إن جعل الله عليكم النهار صرمدا إلى يوم القيامة من إله غير الله يأتيكم بليل تسكنون فيه. If we keep it a day. And we do not bring that dark, darkness, yuri to layla wa nahar. Is there anyone who can do this? If there is anyone who can do this, then go and listen to his commandments. But it is us who do these all changes. And he also said, for it is takbaru. These people are going to do takabbar. You know, I am something, you know. When we have some money in our pocket, we think that we can buy everything in the world. When he has a little money in his pocket, he thinks that he can buy everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, but there are people who are chosen by us. There is a group of people who will always be glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has given us this opportunity. Getting one opportunity, we need to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If He had not given us, we would not be able to utter a single sentence from our talk, so far from our tongues. Can we say subhanallah if it is not permitted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No way. So my dear brothers and sisters, whatever we are blessed with, one of these blessings is this life also. This life is a blessing also. And having lengthy life, long life is also a blessing according to a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala with one condition, khayrun nasi, and that is hadith of Abu, Abu Bikra radiallahu ta'ala an, khayrun nasi man taala umruhu wa hasun amal, wa sharrun nasi man taala umruhu wa sa'a amal. The best person is the one whose life is long and his amal is good. And the worst person is the one whose life is long but his amal is bad. May Allah keep us on the right path 
and follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala So my dear brothers and sisters, the difficulties in life, they come and they have to come. We are all tested. And the life of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala is the best example for us to follow in everything. If you remember, the year in which the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala lost his beloved uncle, Ali, the Abu Talib radiallahu ta'ala, or some people say radiallahu ta'ala, but uh, he did not. He did not say, Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh according to the hadith. So, in a hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the least adab in Jahannam is going to be for Abu Talib. For Abu Talib. Be Prophet, beloved Prophet, and the seal of the Prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam could not benefit. إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتِ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَسَبْتِ It is in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man is busy in his da'wah. All his 13 years, 12 years, 14 years. And the best supporters, Abu Talib, he lost. Pazhari. Khadida bin Taqwaylit. رضي الله تعالى عنها. She passed away. And until Abu Talib, no matter if he was not a mu'min, he was alive, they could not come closer to the Prophet وسلم, to harm him. And he himself said, ma nalat shay'an hatta mata Abu Talib. They could not harm me until Abu Talib passed away. And Khadija bin Takhwilid, radiallahu ta'ala anha, my dear brothers and sisters, her status is amazing. The Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, لَقَدْ آمَنَتْ بِي حِينَ كَفَرَ بِي النَّاسِ She believed in me when people denied. وَصَدَّقَتْنِي حِينَ كَذَّبَ لِلنَّاسِ When people said he is a liar, she said he is the best truthful person. وَأَشْرَكَتْنِي فِي مَالِهَا حِينَ حَرَمَ لِلنَّاسِ And she gave me her wealth when people made me deprived of the blessings. وَرَزَقَنِ اللَّهُ وَلَدَهَا and Allah gave me children to this lady, وَحَرَمَنِي وَلَدَ غَيْرَهَا And no other woman gave the Prophet وسلم, any other children. He loses her also. She dies. He goes to Taif. People of Bakka, they saw it. There's no more Qudayda, Khadija, there's no more Abu Talib. And you remember that Abu Talib, wanted to step on the deck of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he went to Sijla. These incidents are very famous and you all know. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes to Taif. What happened to him in Taif, you know that. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was taught by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ma'al usri the situation of the Prophet وسلم, at that time was not any different than the situation of Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, today. People sometimes become hopeless. I never become hopeless. That's how the Sunnah of Allah is. But it is going to remain like this until we start realizing that we have done something wrong and we have to correct it. The day we start correcting it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put barakah in it. And if we start correcting ourselves with Al-Quran al kareem the best book, the book of guidance, then we will see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changes the situation. Wallahu ghalibun ala amri, walakinna aksar nasi la ya'lamun. He has control over everything, my dear brothers and sisters. So it is time for us to think how many of our friends and those whom we know we lost last year and how many tests we went through and how many of them we passed and how many good things we did 
and how many crimes we have committed. Crimes in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How many people who were very respected and they lost their respect. Dignitaries of the city and the country. They lose, and you can see, not, not too long ago, situation of many rulers, what happened to them. It is time for us to realize that the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala wasallam have told us, Ni'matani maghboonun fihima kathirun minan nas as-sahhatu wal farah. Health and having free time. That is a big blessing. A wise person is the one who avails this opportunity and uses it pleasing Allah and pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to check ourselves. and see and talk to ourselves sometimes what words this tongue had uttered which were accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which were not in accordance with the teachings of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala how many people I have harmed and he said la darara wa la darara. Sometimes we do things, we think that we are doing good, and instead of doing good, we are doing bad. Al-Muslim man salim al-Muslimun amin lisalihi wa yadih. What my ear had heard from the things which were allowed and things which were not allowed. Where my feet walked, was it allowed or not? <coughs> what my hand had grabbed, was it allowed for me or not? This is the time to think and check ourselves. And Maimoun ibn Mahran, rahimahullah, he says, لا يكون العبد تقيا حتى يكون مع نفسه أشد من الشريك مع شريكه. You cannot keep on, you know, justifying your actions. You cannot be a successful movement until you start criticizing yourself just like a partner in a business. He looks at everything, you know, maybe he he, he, he is told somebody here. Maybe something is wrong here. Maybe something is wrong here. When you start checking yourself like that, then you will be a real movement. We need to check ourselves. I was going to masjid for Farah or not. What was my connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Did I do some things which were forbidden by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? If it was, and definitely it is, because no one is exempted. كل بني آدم خطاء وخير الخطائين التوابون is the proof of that. The Prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم said it, so it has to happen. My dear brothers and sisters, it is time for us to do muhasaba. Abu Dhabda رضي الله تعالى عنه. He was standing with a man, and a janaza passed by. He asked Abu Dhabda, who is diseased? Who is in this janaza? He said, Hada anta. It is you. Why are you looking at his death? You need to worry about your death, man. Is there anything which can stop angels coming from you and you be on this bed? No. There's nothing. My dear brothers and sisters, Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu ta'ala came to the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala asking him for advice. He said, the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala sallam held me from my shoulder and told me, listen, kun fi dunya ka anna ka gharibun. Kun fi dunya ka anna ka gharibun aw aabilu sabihin. Live in this world just like a stranger or a traveler passing by. My dear brothers and sisters, we are the opposite. We make laughter, buildings, beautiful palaces, expensive cars, and we think that we are going to live here forever. We need to look at that saying of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma j'alil hayata ziyadatan li fi kulli khayrin wal mawtu rahatan li min kulli shadrin. If this hayat has some good for me, Make me live, O oh Allah. And if there is shar in it, then take me away from here. Yazid al-Rikashi was a very famous scholar, pious man. 
on his deathbed, he started crying. They said, hey, Mataji, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Are you scared of death? Are you scared of death? Death is scary, my dear brothers and sisters. That is scary. The Prophet called it Hadim al the destroyer of the pleasures. You know. So Yazid, he kept on crying. They said, What are you crying for? He said, Abki ala qiyam al layl wa siyam al nahar. I'm crying for my qiyam al layl and my fastings. They said, What do you mean? So he started crying more louder. And he started saying, Man yusalli laka ya Yazid. Myself is asking me who is going to fast for me tomorrow. Man yasumu lak, man yusalli lak, wa man yatubu anka min al-dhuruf. Myself, my inner self is asking me, O oh Yazid, is there anyone after this who will be making prayer for you at night? Is there anyone who will be fasting for you tomorrow? Is there anyone who will be doing tawbah from your sins to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This is the end of it, my dear brothers and sisters. We need to think, we need to look, we need to ponder, and we need to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we need to put an effort. If effort is without dua, there is no chance for any acceptance. Oh, that's a, that's a, Allah yajtabi ilayhi man yasha wa yahdi ilayhi man yunib. There are accept, uh, acceptance, no doubt. May Allah give us tawfiq to do so. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إن الله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد my dear brothers and sisters the only thing i wanted to remind you of is you know this month that has uh, two days of uh, fasting, Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Details of it, we will share it inshallah today after Isha in our uh, family night uh, talk. But that will be 12 and 13 of November or 13th and 14th of, the, of this month. If you want to fast, that is the best fasting after Ramadan according to the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات وبارك على محمد وأزواجه وذريته اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أصلح أحوال أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم وفقنا لما تحبه وترضاه اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصرهم على عدوك وعدوهم اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خير امتي قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم عباد الله اتقوا الله رحمني ورحمكم الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون ولا ذكر الله أكبر أقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين سبح اسم ربك الاعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي اخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء احوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى الا ما شاء الله انه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى وليسرك لليسرى فذكر ان نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الاشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى سمع الله لمن حميده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آلية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمالق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر
Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله 